At the beginning of the film, a girl is shown working in the field, collecting cotton for an Indian company. They were making jeans there and that girl also works in that company. Now the Indian company has made jeans in a short time and then send that stock to the company. This was a company of huge brand and their name was also famous, many customers like their brand. The employee becomes happy to see the jeans as he likes those jeans. Actually, those jeans have the quality that anyone, regardless of size, can wear them, whether they are fat or smart. A girl named, Libby, comes to the store in search of a job. Libby, meets the manager and says this is my favorite brand and I wanted to do job here. The manager gives her job while giving her few papers. He asks her to fill the form and says you can join your duty from tonight. She was excited for her job because it was her favorite brand. On another side, the stockroom is shown where the stock of jeans was placed. There was a strange thing that the jeans were moving. And the boy says after seeing, Libby, the clothes you are wearing are not suitable for this place. Because tonight there is a visit of the company owner in our store and he wants his workers to wear his brand clothes. Libby buys few clothes for herself to wear from there. But two girls arrive when she moves to change clothes in washroom. They were also workers here but, Libby, hides after seeing them. One of the girls brings jeans from the stockroom and says to her co-worker I like this jeans and I am going to wear it. The other worker asks, are you crazy? Because these jeans are not yet for sale, how will you be able to wear them? She disregards her and wears it, but the jeans become too small for the girl who wore it. The manager has seen her jeans when she was going to the washroom and summons her back while calling her. The worker ignores him and then the store owner arrives. And was telling everyone about this jeans and says we will sail it tomorrow. The store workers were happy on it, meanwhile, the girl who stole the jeans moved to the washroom to take it off. The jeans wasn't separating from her body and it gets tight on her body that her body starts bleeding. After it, her body divides into two parts and later, the jeans is shown hiding the body parts of the girl. It sucks the blood that was fallen on the floor, the store owner on the other hand was telling everyone that they have to stay there tonight to work. There will be a famous YouTuber in our mall who will do a commercial for our jeans. Then we will start selling this jeans in the morning 8 am. The company owner leaves after saying this and then the workers start their job. Meanwhile, the manager notices the girl didn't return who went to the washroom. He sends his worker to find her who was with that girl before. She moves to the washroom to find her but couldn't and then finds the hanged jeans that was stolen and wore by that girl. She sees the jeans while coming near it and the jeans has hypnotized her means the jeans control her. She wears it and now the jeans was controlling her feet due to it. Her head stuck in a hook and she dies. The manager sends, Libby, to find the girls when they didn't return. Libby, goes to the washroom and sees that girl's dead body who have stolen jeans. The condition of her dead body was worst and, Libby, gets scared to see her. She calls the manager there and the manager wasn't surprised to see her and forbids, Libby, to tell this to anyone. Then he puts her dead body into the dustbin and hides it in his store. On another side, the jeans come into a box and when the worker opens the box the jeans controls him. The worker also wants to wear the jeans so he moves while taking the jeans to wear it. Libby, saw him leaving and she tells the manager, the manger calls him but the boy ignores him. He opens the zip of the jeans to wear it but it cuts his thumb and it starts bleeding, later, the jeans separates his arms. In the end, it separates his head from his body now the boy dies and the jeans sucks the blood from the floor. Then it places the body parts of the boy in a box, when the manager comes to the stockroom to find him he notices the box. He gets scared to see the box and then, Libby, arrives and becomes frightened after seeing all this. She says to the manager we should call the police why aren't you listening to me? People are dying brutally and you are not even calling the police, the manager says after hearing, Libby, okay I will call. But then he cleverly attacks, Libby, with a plastic because the manager is doing all this for his promotion. He doesn't want to tell this to the police because if the police will discover this their store will be sealed. His promotion will also not proceed, now it was 12 and the YouTuber whom they called for jeans commercial also arrives their store. She was a famous YouTuber and gets mad seeing the jeans design and asks for a set of it from the manager. Then she starts her live video and starts telling about the qualities of jeans. But the jeans that was hanging behind holds her neck and ends her. Everyone was considering it funny but the jeans stands up while seeing them and starts sucking their blood while ending them. The manager who went to bring the jeans for the YouTuber gets scared to see all this when he returns. Because the jeans was sucking blood from the floor in front of him. The manager becomes terrified and locks himself in a room and the wife of the store owner was also there. He tells her there is a jeans outside that is walking and ending people itself. But she says what nonsense are you talking, 
and then moves outside after saying this. Now the manager checks in the camera and discovers the jeans has ended the wife of the store owner. After that, the jeans are given to a worker, and it is she who introduces, Libby, to the manager for the first time. She is an Indian girl who is singing and the jeans starts dancing on her song and doesn't harm her. On another side, Libby, moves to the place where the YouTuber was shooting. She finds a camera there with which she discovered that the jeans is ending everyone. Now the jeans has made a statue its body and puts a blood ornament on its forehead. And, Libby, takes the camera to that Indian girl and shows her the videos, she also gets scared after seeing them. They try to move outside but the doors were closed meanwhile, the manager calls them in his room. Here, they watch the video when the jeans was dancing and understand there is someone's soul in this jeans who is an Indian. That's why it didn't harm the Indian girl and was dancing on her song, the Indian girl asks it who are you? And from where did you come? Then it writes on the wall with a cut hand, and we learn the entire story from the beginning. It tells its story. We saw a girl collecting the cotton and tells her name, Kirat. She was just 13 years old and she was taking the cotton from the field and suddenly, her scarf stuck in the machine. Due to it, her body also stuck in the machine and divides into many pieces and dies because of it. The owner didn't stop the machine and continued the work. The Indian girl asks after hearing the story what do you want? Here we discover the soul in the jeans was of, Kirat, and she wants to destroy this company. Because she wants justice for herself. Now the Indian girl and, Libby, come out after listening to her. The manager attacked the statue with a spray due to it. The jeans gets scared and runs after getting off the statue. Suddenly, the light turns off and the manager ran from there but they chase the jeans. They find the jeans sucking the blood of the dead bodies and the manager locks their room. And says give me the camera then I will open this door. They don't want to give him the camera and want justice for, Kirat, and they move inside again. The manager has become greedy for his promotion and doesn't care for anyone and ends that Indian girl. He has taken camera from her but when he checks there was no memory card. That means, Libby, has the memory card and he finds out, Libby, and asks for memory card while holding her neck. She says I don't have it but even then he makes her faint while pressing her neck. Meanwhile, many jeans were coming towards the manager and suck his blood while getting on him. Now only his skeleton was left, the jeans has ended the manager but it doesn't harm, Libby. Libby, comes to her senses and meets, Kirat's, jeans in the hall. And tries to make it understand while saying don't do this, don't end people, why are you ending innocent people? Those people did not end you, and it was then 8 am on the strike, and people were gathered outside the store. The door opens but, Libby, forbids them and then she falls down when the people push her and dies on the spot. After it, Kirat, and the other jeans have ended everyone in the store but the memory card was still in, Libby's, hand. Maybe the cops have the memory card? Or will, Kirat's, soul continue to end people in jeans for its justice? This was the film's terrifying conclusion.